A few months ago I made a video about uh, the Land Rover Freelander Master Cylinder uh, play at the clutch pedal. This wee thing here. And what was actually happening was this whole bit was moving about. Now, this is not the one out of the Land Rover. I replaced that one. And... Uh, this is another one, this is a spear one that I actually had that I was going to put in the land wire, but it's missing a circlet. But you can see what actually wrong in it here. I mean, I could fix that with a circlet, but it's just not really worth it. I don't have a land rover anymore, so there's no point. Um, I'm going to try and show you how this goes in. It's kind of hard to hold the camera on. See? That's just a wee retaining clip and that should hold it in place. It was actually broken in my own and kept moving back and forth. And was forcing the the cylinder in at an angle. As I say, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one apart from it's missing a circlet. It could be repaired, you know, but um like I say I, I cut it off a of Virgo. Uh, I scrapped and um just really wanted to use it as a demonstration purposes and you know if it ever came to be that I, I needed one I've got a board bag clutch sleeve cylinder as well and I think over there there's a an actual clutch for a Land Rover so if I was able to buy another Land Rover I mean it would have come in handy for me so hence the reason spares uh, but I just thought I'd show you that you know, seeming to be quite popular I think a lot of Land Rover owners have that problem like problems with master cylinder and that um, I certainly know slave cylinder is a big issue um, hence the reason I've got two clutches sitting over there right okay then guys I'm going to leave it there